This channel is dedicated to turning 60. This whole thing, this next year, I'm trying to come to grips about uh, leaving my 50s and into my 60s. I'm 59 years old right now. And soon, next year, all this year, I'll be turning 60. And uh, this is a journey of what I'm going through as I'm aging and hitting that magic number of 60. Let's just take inventory, 230 pounds. Might be a little on the heavier side than I need to be, but I'm big boned. At least that's what I, I tell everybody. Coming off my worst year in real estate ever, made about $100,000 less than I made uh, the previous year, which it yeah. sucks. It sucks when you, you take a big dip. I didn't hit my goals. Just take inventory from head to toe, eyesight, uh, Got to have my cheaters to read anything now, um, two and a half. So not the world's greatest eyesight. Hearing uh, is starting to go, uh, which kind of sucks. My dad actually gave me his uh, hearing aids, so I use those when I'm watching TV, when there's a lot of people around, or when I'm going to be out uh, and about in a loud place. It's the background noise where I can't hear anything anymore. I just kind of nod and say yes. My hair has definitely turned gray, and uh, the rest of everything's turning gray. The only thing that hasn't turned totally gray is my eyebrows. So, you know, that's, that's okay. At least I got a full head of hair. No, I'm happy with that. I can't complain. Uh, aches and pains. Yeah, your typical aches and pains. Uh, I was in a bad motorcycle accident when I was younger, about 20 years ago. When I was younger, yeah, only 20 years ago. And that's kind of taken its toll on my body. Uh, arthritis in my fingers where I had broken my fingers. Uh, arthritis in my hip and knee where those were damaged. But uh, living in Arizona uh, is much better and easier on my body than Minnesota where I'm originally from. The other thing uh, that I have going on, uh, I went hiking, I damaged uh, a heel uh, so it's hard for me to walk long distances right now because I think my heel is still healing. Body is in eh, okay shape. Not, you know, it's not a body of a 40 year old, but you know, through this next year, I'm going to work on that. I know that I have insulin resistance. There's some tell sign, tell spell signs that, that I have that. Uh, one thing, I, I consume way too much sugar. I love pop. I love, or soda, you know, depending on where you're from or where you're listening. Just, anyway, and then I love ice cream. I, I got to have ice cream before I go to bed. So at the beginning of this coming year, uh, this is episode one. Next episode will start uh, the beginning of the next year, uh, 2024. And last year, I did a water only uh, for the month of January. Extremely hard uh, to do. It means no coffee. All I'm going to do is put lemon in my water to flavor it. And uh, this year, I'm going to do the same thing, water only for the month of January. And I'm going to cut out sweets. So no candy, no ice cream. So I think that's going to be a really a tough challenge. I, I think that's going to be my hardest challenge ever. So, hey, if, if you want to, you know, try something for your, your mental health to make sure that you can achieve something, come up with, with anything that you're going to do without for a month and see if you can do it. So I'm putting it out right now, water only. I know I can do that, but this year it's going to be no sweets, so no candy, and no ice cream. Other than that, that's, that's going to be a tough one. Uh, I'll be talking a little bit about that. So I'm going to be talking about, you know, my job as a realtor. I'm going to be talking about me as a person, my health, and what it means to be turning 60, and what I need to do to prepare for the future. Uh, as I'm going into my 60s, things are changing rapidly. Uh, so stay tuned to see kind of how this all develops. I don't know where it's going to go. I'm going to post something 
once a uh, week uh, on turning 60 uh, until I hit 60, and then we'll see what happens at that point. But uh, right now, this is who I am, and this is where I'm going. I'm turning 60. Let's talk a little bit about people that want to follow. I'm guessing it's going to be males that are probably in my age range that are turning 60 that are tuning into this. I appreciate comments, but I don't want a lot of negative comments. I'm in sales. I got to be upbeat. I got to be, I need to be happy. My mental state right now is me coming off a bad year, trying to get everything ready to go for the the next coming year here, it's going to be interesting. Uh, one of the things I don't want is I don't want a bunch of people that are trying to sell me frickin' crypto. I, I, I'm sick of that. I get so many requests that people want to sell me some MLM or some fucking crypto crap. They waste my time. They want to chat. They want to talk. Oh, let's go look at some houses. And by the way, can I buy this with crypto? No, you cannot fucking buy a house with cryptocurrency. No, you, you got to pay taxes. Oh, I want to avoid taxes. I don't want to have the government know where my money is. Hey, that's not how it works here in the U.S. <laughs> some of the things I do like and you want to talk about that I'll share my life with is, hey, I have a great family. I have an awesome dog. His name is Rico, standard poodle, and I love to golf. Most of my real estate is done. Most of my clients are from out of state coming down here to Scottsdale area because it's the mecca of golf. They want to buy in a golf course community or be on a golf course or look into something that is golf related. I'm the realtor to talk to. I love working with people that love to golf. I'll take you golfing even. So we'll talk a lot about golf on a lot of my other channels and stuff like that. It's definitely golf related. So uh, one of my favorite hobbies, uh, hiking. I love hiking, but I, I injured myself. So the hiking thing is is kind of a little on the slower go, but you know, it is it is what it is. I want to get back to hiking. I love taking photographs. I, down here in, in Arizona, there's so many plants that are blooming throughout the year. I just really appreciate it from being back in Minnesota where nothing was alive during the winter. Down here during the, the winter, there's always something in bloom. There's something in bloom all parts of the year here. So I, I do like taking a lot of pictures of the native cactuses and flowers that are blooming. So I do take a lot of pictures of flowers and stuff like that might not be the most masculine thing in the world to do, but hey, I don't give a shit. It's what I like to do. Anyway, what else? I like hanging out with my friends. And I love, I love good food. Uh, I love barbecuing. We'll talk a little bit about barbecuing and some of the stuff that I like to, to make on my grill. I got an awesome setup. Did a lot of research and came up with, I thought, the perfect setup for me. So we'll talk about that in the future. And uh, we'll talk about goals. What do you need to do when you're about to turn 60? You guys start thinking about retirement. You guys start thinking about your health. So we're going to be diving into that a little bit more closely too. Anyway, those are the things that, that are kind of near and dear to me right now. And uh, uh, I'm not going to talk about uh, certain things. Uh, I think uh, politics and faith uh, are uh, something that, that gets people, you know, uh, ticked off lately. So I'm just going to try to avoid that altogether. But I, I do love my family and I do love my situation that I'm in right now. Uh, I have a wonderful support team uh, behind me with uh, Realty One Group. Couldn't be happier with my broker. Uh, I couldn't be happier with my studio where, where I work uh, pretty much every day. I, I love coming to, to my office or studio. And I don't know, what else? Tell me what you guys would like me to share with you as I'm on this journey of turning 60. Love, love to know what your comments are. I'll reply. Uh, I'll look at them. Yeah, absolutely.